Hello everyone, welcome back to Minute with Miles. I want to talk to you even more about PEA, palmitoyl ethanolamide. Now I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, I do think that PEA will be the next CBD in terms of popularity as a supplement. And the reasons for this have to do with the fact that PEA, like CBD, interacts with our endocannabinoid system and clinical studies suggest that PEA may be useful for pain due to overuse or exercise or even joint discomfort, kind of like what some people choose to use CBD for. But unlike CBD, PEA has zero of the regulatory issues, and PEA is really, really safe as a dietary supplement. Now, I know that recently I did talk about PEA in that other video that focused on the history of the ingredient, but I want to talk a little bit more about the science as well as the usage of PEA as a dietary ingredient today. Back in those studies in Central Europe, where they were studying PEA for immune health, daily immune health prophylaxis, they were examining a, range, a dose range of PEA supplementation between 300 milligrams a day up to 1800 milligrams a day. Within the last 10 or 20 years or so, human clinical trials for PEA have been conducted in a couple of different areas, especially as it relates to comfort, joint comfort, after exercise. And often these studies will use doses between 300 milligrams to 600 milligrams. Although there have been a couple with an ingredient called Levagen Plus. This is a PEA product that has been specifically formulated to have enhanced bioavailability. With enhanced absorption into the blood and into tissues, it appears that doses as low as 175 milligrams might be effective for local comfort, joints, muscles, so on and so forth. Let me show you something cool. This is my trusty model of PEA over here. Please understand that this doesn't really represent double bonds very well, but, but you get the picture, right? One of the things that's cool about a lot of lipid mediators, you see this long chain of carbons over here. That means it's a lipid, it's a fat. Bioactive lipid mediators are derived from dietary fats and then converted into these active transmitters like PEA over here. So actually PEA is derived from palmitic acid and then an ethanolamine is added on to that palmitic acid to form PEA. So let me just show you what that looks like. I can pop off the ethanolamine moiety over here. And now this is the structure of palmitic acid, a dietary fat. And what happens is that palmitic acid is stored in the lipid membrane of our cells and an enzyme catalyzes palmitic acid and ethanolamine into, let me pop this oxygen off, into PEA. Now, how is it that PEA helps with comfort? Like we said, PEA has to do with modulation of the endocannabinoid system. One of its potential mechanisms of action is that it blocks the enzyme called fatty acid amide hydrolase FA. And this is an enzyme that breaks down one of our major endocannabinoids known as anandamide. Inhibition of this enzyme, FA, by PEA might be one of the mechanisms by which it can help people with comfort. But it doesn't just end there. Like a lot of natural products, PEA has multiple different mechanisms of action. In fact, PEA is known to bind to the nuclear receptor, PPAR-alpha. And this activity at PPAR-alpha might be associated with good outcomes in inflammation, immune health, joint comfort, and a lot of other benefits associated with PEA supplementation. In fact, one of the recent studies that I was very impressed by was on PEA reducing intestinal permeability caused by an over-the-counter NSAID. Now, intestinal permeability is kind of a fancy term for leaky gut, and it's this idea that certain triggers, whether it's food or medication or stress, can cause a weakness in the small intestinal lining. So we hold trillions 
a bacteria right within our intestines. And 70% of your immune system is associated with the gut tissue. So when that barrier becomes compromised, bacterial toxins or undigested food particles might translocate from the gut lumen into the body and into the bloodstream. Wait, what was that? Anyway, look, the point that I'm trying to make is that ingredients such as PEA have very interesting potential to benefit the whole body through modulation of the gut microbiome, the immune system, and the endocannabinoid system. And what that translates to is beneficial outcomes in the immune system and in joint comfort, inflammatory support, so on and so forth. So this is where I do try to sell you. Check out cvsciences.com and look up CV Defense for a supplement that contains PEA in the correct amounts, along with vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc, selenium, and an organic reishi mushroom extract. And I think that that combination of ingredients can be very useful for somebody looking to support their well-being over time. So, this is your Minute with Miles. Thank you for listening. Be well, like and subscribe. Until next time.